All right, South Paul Slick, you know what it is. And today, basically, um, it's not really a review, but more so a recap of the Super Nintendo Classic. And I absolutely love this fucking thing. Um, actually, I got it back in July. And I've been meaning to, you know, to talk about it. Like I said, life gets in the way. So you can only do so much, right? So this is basically the box. It's beautiful. I like the detail on it. I like how it has all the games back here. It has them listed, which is pretty nice. It comes with two controllers, which are very authentic. And it comes with 21 amazing games. And you know that I'm going to get to showing you the games as well. Just give me a minute. And of course, this is the console itself. It's basically a, a cutesy miniature version of the Super Nintendo that we know and love. I absolutely love having this thing on display. Even when I'm not playing it, it's just nice to look at. It is so adorable, if that's the word to use. I really like the way this console looks. It is amazing. And the thing about it is, I kind of had um, a love-hate relationship with it initially. When I, when I found out about the European and Japanese uh, Super Famicom, you know, like years after the fact, of course, like how theirs look and how ours look. I'm like, man, I was looking up so corny, like, in comparison, they got like the color buttons and everything. Like theirs really look cool. And it still does look cooler. But I do like the design now. I say I have more of an appreciation for it because it brings back so many memories. I like how it has the cartridge slot, even though it doesn't open. I like the eject button there, even though it doesn't work. And I like the reset and power buttons, of course. The controller ports, which are just there for aesthetic. They actually are not functional. It's just a, a, a cover up for the actual ports, which, let me see if I'll open it. Okay. It's the a actual ports are um, Nintendo Wii controller ports, which, you know, I, don't, I, I guess it's okay. You know, it doesn't bother me that much. Some people it does, but it doesn't really bother me too much. But, um, yeah, I just like the way the console looks. It's, it's a really nice looking console to have on display and of course speaking of the controller you do get two controllers this is it right here the controller feels super often it's just the way i remembered it to a t i'm saying the buttons i said the l and r buttons the face buttons the d-pad everything feels exactly the way i remembered it looks the same other than the cord which of course has that Wii controller shape. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm not bothered by it. I, I can deal. As long as the controller itself feels the way it should, I'm perfectly fine. But I think I'm pretty much done talking about the way the system looks. Let's get to the actual games. All right, so this is the select screen for the video games. As you can see, we have Earthbound, Final Fantasy 3 or 6, Kirby's Dream Course, Mega Man X, Star Fox, Star Fox 2, which you unlock by playing Star Fox, Super Castlevania 4, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, Super Mario Kart, Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars, Super Metroid, The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. What? Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, Chrono Trigger, exactly, you can hack the damn system, Final Fight 3, Doom, Killer Instinct, NBA Jam Tournament Edition, some games that should have been on here, Hagane, Power Rangers the movie, even though some people wouldn't recommend that, but the game is awesome nonetheless, Super Star Wars Empire Strikes Back, which I think is the better Star Wars game for the Super Nintendo, or the best Star Wars game for the Super Nintendo, excuse me, Wild Guns, Space Megaforce, 
Pocky and Rocky. Come on, man. The Ninja Warriors. NBA Give and Go, which is a heavily underrated basketball game. And of course, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4, Turtles in Time. Some really essential games to have. And you can even put some more games on it. The way I look at it is, okay, Nintendo, they did the crackdown on the emulation and the ROMs. Or they definitely had a, 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 a contributing hand into it. Because I can't say they're the, they're the only one, you know, to shut them out. But like I said, but luckily most of them have pretty much popped back up. And getting ROMs is not an issue. It's really not an issue. But I just figure I'll show some of those off. Because to me, this is the absolute best way to play emulated games. It's on actual Super Nintendo with a Super Nintendo controller. There's no better way. And this is the best time to do it. So I highly advise you guys to flash your console. The way I look at it is, what's the point of giving us a USB port if you can't exploit it? <laughs> All right, and a good bit of these games I actually own, so can't really get on my case. Oh, no flawless. Damn. I just wanted to get hit by that. <laughs> Pretty much, I just wanted to show a few games off. Not going through the whole list. And like I said, pretty much, this is a nice package to have. And you can make it even better with a uh, flash on the console. Like, this is really a uh, retro gamer's dream right now. Um, I absolutely love this thing. And it will definitely be played for years to come. So, Southpaw Select, Nerd Game Gaming. Super Nintendo Mini, we're out.